Okay, we're here uh, with Agnieszka uh, from Poland, from Poznan. Okay, and uh, okay, we just would like to know from you what's about in general the situation in Poland, mainly concerning the work condition, the rights of the workers, and the level of the social and uh, union movements. So, like in general, we do, in the last 25 years after the capitalist transformation of '89, we didn't we. Uh, haven't seen like w big uh, social unrest, waves of struggles. There were struggles in the 90s against privatizations, but in the recent years, it's Poland stay kind of white spot on the uh, European map of the uh, workers' strike struggles. But, but there are struggles like more defensive uh, and like local and about the local issues. Uh, like we, Poland uh, went in the re recent years, a uh, change of the labor, uh, labor reform uh, and also a retirement reform. Uh, so, that, and also a lot of cuts in the, in the public sectors. So they are uh, like very uh, harsh local struggles of workers, teachers, uh, hospital workers against privatization, but they, it's hard to connect them in the, in the, wide, in the more widespread movement. Um, a few examples maybe of the recent struggles, there was uh, struggles of the, of the cleaners in Poznan University, uh, the, the, most of the 60% of the, of the technical workers in, at the university there is outsourced, registered even for the companies outside, outside Poland, so they, had, they were not paid for three months um, and the, uh, like they started to picket and struggles at the university. Uh, su successfully put the pressure on the on the on the university. Uh, there are a series of, of of strikes by nurses, uh, uh, stru struggles by nurses against privatizations of the hospitals. Um. Okay, because you know. Uh, sometimes in Italy they speak a lot about Poland because many, uh, for instance, the Fiat, the sure. factory, they do this kind of playing, uh, moving capital and uh, a structure where for them is more convenient and obviously the first thing we think is that should be to, uh, a good idea to join the struggle, no? at, at least at European level to, to uh, prevent capitalists uh, using this difference between different areas and to uh, because we know that what they want is just to exploit uh, the workers wherever no uh, yeah we are aware of these threats in Italy and also what we try to do we always try to translate and like inform uh, workers like in Poland about the situation the recent in the recently uh, past in the recent weeks actually there was a threat against workers of Electrolux uh, factory yeah. in Italy and we translate, we, there's four factories of Electrolux uh, in Poland and we translated the, the leaflets and manifestos into Polish and tried to circulate it because we, it's very important uh, to not, uh, that workers above borders uh, realize that, that they fight, they have one enemy, that they are not enemies of each other and they, they, they uh, of course that maybe they, there are very big differences in the wage conditions, but at the end, it's it's not the workers who benefit from the from the um, harass har and the, like uh, terrorizing the yeah. the workers in the in the more wealthy countries. So it, I agree, it's very important to yeah. circulate this. This yeah. Just last question. Just uh, in f in few words, you can tell just a little bit what uh, do you think that's happening with uh, the Ukrainian situation. Uh, we have to be careful and uh, we have to very, uh, I think, uh, wait and uh, learn from the from uh, comrades who are there. We get uh, also bad information about blacklist of the left activists, uh, but also uh, with, I think it's, it was very impressive the first wave of uh, the unrest and the anger that people took the streets and they went there and expressed their frustration. Of course, there later there was a big politics engaged, and we, I think we have to support libertarian activists and uh, learn from their messages. And also, it's a lesson also in Poland about how strong could be the right wing in harassing the protests. So I think it's very important to go there and learn and exchange the information, and we have to, I think, wait what okay. will happen there. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank Bye. you.